Ghana, we now have freedom. Ghana, land of freedom. Toils of the brave and the sweat of the labor. Ghana attained independence at a time when high life music was the dominant genre. Ghanaian music has evolved over the years. It has gone through several phases, from even the time when we had traditional music through to when we started having contemporary music, and even what we have now as hip life or even GH rap. But how did it all start for Ghana music? We have always had music of our own. Um, music uh, practiced by the various ethnic groups. There are all varieties of African music, if you take the wider continent, because they have certain things in common. Although High Life happens to be the country's biggest export, the genre has over the years metamorphosed into another adaptation in recent years. The early High Life is not the same as the, the, the High Life that succeeded it. And the High Life of UK and so forth it's not the same as the high life of today. But high life music has not always been in the dance halls. According to Professor Emeritus in Ketia, it featured prominently in the works of the late renowned Ghanaian composer, Dr. Ephraim Amu. Well, high life was already, you know, in the community. So Amu took it. And he composed, Nifani Pinkum Babiara, da 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 da. It's our life too, not only, not only the other one. Quite a few of, of his compositions use the high life style. But high life soon got an offshoot, a brand new genre called hip life, birthed by the man Reggie Rockstone. <laughs> The fast-paced music type is a blend of high-life rhythms laced with rap verses. But fast forward to the year 2010 and the young crop of Ghanaian musicians appear to be shying away from traditional music, a development Professor Emeritus in KTR says is natural. Somewhere along the line in the history of music in Ghana, two genres of music were introduced, reggae and dancehall. Surprisingly, the latter dancehall seems to be gaining a cult following in the country. Reggae, reggae originally from the roots from Africa, where even the Jamaicans say it started with Kete, Ashantis, the, the when they play the Kete. Kete music the the adua you know that that's where the reggae started you know in spite of the soaring popularity of dancehall music in ghana afromosis thinks ghanaian musicians will do themselves some good if they rebranded the music genre i love the the, uh, the dance hall thing but if they can put maybe dance pop or dance africa I would love Dance Africa. It would so be we great. We have our own yes. form of dance. Dance Africa Hall music. You see, that would be great than, say, dance hall. Because the Jamaicans are created already. And the Jamaicans, when they come here, they want to see us with using our drum and doing even modernized, doing something. They find it very interesting than we copying them. So, how would Ghanaian music sound like a decade or two from now? It would be difficult to say, to say exactly what it will be, we can only talk about trends. Mm. Because, you know, these young men who are doing rap and so forth will grow up. And as they grow up, you know, they'll begin to assume some of the habits of older people. <laughs> like Professor Emeritus in Ketia, Afromosis thinks the current form of Ghanaian music will fade away in about 30 years. Oh, it's going to be something different. Let me tell you, every 30 years, things happen. Every 30 years, things happen. So it won't be like that. Already, many young Ghanaian musicians are being creative with the names for the type of music they create. Do not be surprised if the sound also changes to something a little like this. Yeah. 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 